Long ago, there was an evil black jewel that fed on the wishes of people, turning their desires into power. This dark jewel gave birth to many evil spirits who then tormented the good creatures of the world. Then, just when it seemed like the evil spirits would overrun the land, the spritelings of the sacred forest ensnared the black jewel and hid away deep within their ancient ruins. But over time, these events were all forgotten, and one day a greedy treasure hunter stole the jewel from the ruins. Oh, free at last! I'm chock full of power! I think I'll turn all this greedy sap's jewels into evil spirits. Blah! Evil Bowser laugh. Hey everybody, it's Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome to Let's Play Number Seven, Wario World. And I gotta say, Wario World is um could be described as one of those underrated, you know, short games that that of course get underrated because of how short they are. And uh, but yeah, this game is pretty short, just like you know people complain about. But I don't really think that makes it necessarily a bad game, but. But yeah, this is gonna be Let's Play number seven. Um, basically, here's how the game works. Okay, it's, di it's divided into four worlds, and each world has two levels in it. And then it has a boss of the world itself. And not only that, but there's also a boss at the end of every level. So basically, there's three bosses in each world, and the two plus the two levels. Okay, so it may not seem like a short game, but I'm pretty sure I can tell you right now it's gonna be a pretty short game. And here it is, the first level. Here we go. Now I'm hoping in this first video we will be able to at least, you know, get through just the first level. So this is, um, Greenhorn Forest, which is the name of the level, and Excitement Central is the name of the world. So starting off, we're gonna climb up this ladder here. Um, this level is just like any other first level of a game, it's pretty easy, so there's not really much to be said. Here's a, these are the most basic enemies, and... And, uh, the way the enemies look in this game depends on if, which world you're on, okay? So, like, in the first world, um, it's pretty... The enemies are practically dinosaur-themed. You can also pick up some of these objects with, by pr pressing B, because knowing how strong Wario is, you can pretty much practically pick up everything. Also, if, if you see something like this, like a, you know, a button that looks like this, hit it because I'll make a treasure appear somewhere. A treasure box. Inside each of these is, well it says, collect treasures to activate games for transfer to your Game Boy Advance. Now these treasures are actually required to get 100%, so that's why I'm collecting them even though I'm not gonna, I'm not really gonna, sh I don't really plan on showing the Game Boy Advance function for this game. But, yeah, I'm just gonna collect the treasures for 100%. Also, to get 100%, you need to rescue all the Spritelings which are hidden inside little boxes within each of the worlds. I mean the levels, actually. There's five Spritelings in each level. Wario, hi, I've been waiting for you. I'm one of the Spritelings of the forest. I have I have really bad news. That evil Black Julius stole is sucking up all the negative greed energy swirling around in your castle and terrible things are starting to happen, honest. If you want to survive, press the A button to jump and the B button to punch. Also press the B button to pick up and hurl KO'd enemies. I mean monsters, practice up, okay? <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much, that's Wario World 4, you just kicking a bunch of enemies. Um, collect these to get hard fragments. These are basically, um, they're, pra they're practically just like hard containers in, from Legend of Zelda, except, um, when you, except in this game, practically it's like when you get one hard container, only it does like, gets you like half of a heart when it comes to this game. And we got our second treasure box, like, wow. Let's just put the, the treasure right next to the button. They won't notice that's right there. <laughs> yeah, not funny, Nintendo. Okay, what's down here? Another button. 
And inside, also, you got these treasure boxes, and inside, most of them will be coins, but they're also, sometimes, they will also have, um, bombs inside them, so you gotta watch out for those. Um, <clears throat> there's a third treasure already. See how fast we're going? Yeah, that's pretty much, it's pretty much how fast you get through this game. It's just basically, it's so easy to get through this game, but nonetheless, it's still pretty fun while it lasts, so... I don't know why people gave it such a bad rating despite the fact, I mean, it, I know it is a pretty short game, but still, that's no reason to give it a bad rating. Listen, eventually you're gonna have to deal with the stone doohickey that sits on the gold. To get rid of it, you gotta collect a certain number of red diamonds. Below every ground hatch is a sub-level that holds one. Jump and then press the R button to do a ground pound. You can crash through the most hatches this way. For this area, you only need three diamonds. But even though that is so, we're only we're gonna be collecting every diamond, okay? Every diamond in the game, because it's also 100% worthy. And uh, these guys are called garlic dispensers because garlic, guess what? Garlic is Wario's main source of energy. Garlic, don't you love garlic? Delicious garlic restores health. Listen, you big oaf. If you've got the core courage to take me on, I guess it's okay to sell you garlic, even though you can't really do anything about it. We'll just tell you how much money he needs, and then when you need him, he'll give you garlic. Okay, this is the first um, sub-level sub thing right here. Uh, I believe there's like... I don't know how many there are. Let's check. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, th so yeah, there's eight. I believe... Yeah, there's like um, eight of these sub-level... sub-levels in every level. And these are the red diamonds that the second... that the Spryling was talking about. And you only use them to, to reach the boss of each level, so... They're not really all that useful, just make sure you have the right amount in each world. Um, the farther you get through the game, the more diamonds you will need to, to get to the bosses. But the game starts off with just three, but eventually it'll get like, get to like um, four and then five and six and so on. So yeah, that was the um, second sub-level right there. As you can see, they start off really easy, but like I said, this game's gonna get really, really hard later on. Wario, are you using the B button correct? Dude, I've been using that ever since you... Oh, uh, never mind. How am I not using it correctly? I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm killing all these enemies. How, how can you tell I'm not using it right? Okay, in this one, we have... Oh yeah, this is a... Uh, this one, I noticed that a lot of people like to destroy all the boxes. I mean, uh, all these, uh... What are these things called? I'll come with a na name for these later on. But yeah, a lot of people like to destroy every last one of these. So I think I'll do that too. So, and I think I'll, I'll speed up as well. Just like most people do. So, see you guys when I'm done. I gotta say, it took a li little bit longer than what I thought was. Okay, so I guess we're done with this sub-level now. Okay, now, um, so, so, whenever you see, like, uh, these pads right here, that's where treasure is supposed to appear, in case you haven't realized that yet. I'm gonna go right here first. Yeah, these levels, they don't take that long to clear. Well, actually, they will event, they will over time. Actually, I think this is pretty much as um, short as the levels get. And eventually, it will take a like a maybe like two or three episodes to clear them. But for the beginning of the game, it's only gonna take like one episode it should to, to clear these first few worlds. So I'm not really concerned about that right now. I'm just just getting through one level per video seems about fair. Um. Okay, so we've already got half of the treasures right now, and, uh... 
We got two more Spritelings to save. I think that does it for up there. Um, so make sure you grab this treasure box as well. Okay. And we have another sub level over here. Awesome. So you can pretty much see just how fast, how easy it is to get through this game and how fast paced it is for most people. Um, for this one, you only want to destroy a certain number of these cubes. Just enough that, just not so too much that you're not able to get up here. But, yeah, for the first level, these things, these uh, sub-levels are pretty easy to figure out. Except for one of these, you know, I'm pretty sure, um, maybe you out there have played this game before and know what I'm talking about. In case you haven't noticed, I'm, whenever you, pr whenever you hold Z, this is what Wario will do. That's basically just for, um, a faster way of collecting the coin, you know, just like how in Super Mario Galaxy you can just point your remote at the screen and it automatically picks up the star bits for you. It's kind of like that, except the coins have to be closer to you, whereas any star bits on the screen can be picked up when you're playing Super Mario Galaxy, but whereas in this game, the thing has to be close enough. That was a big fail. Big, epic fail there. Okay. I'll grab this body part right here. Okay, this is the one that people seem to, a lot of people seem to have trouble with, but really, it's not really that hard to figure it out. What you have to do is you have to be um, on this, on this, the open sides of the of the circle. Okay, that's how you do it. It's that easy. You just have to be on the open sides of the circle, and that because if you um. If you try to, what I'm trying to say, if you try to go through um, the, the sides that are blocked, then you'll get hit by the spike that's in, that's uh, in the center. So, yeah, a lot of people seem to have trouble figuring that out. But really, and and to be fair, I had some trouble on that too originally. But now now I figured it out, so it's not really that hard. <laughs> okay. Another treasure right here, and another sub-level. I'll grab that sprightly when we get back out. And this one is so hard to figure it out, see? Oh, there's a random... Yeah. It's not funny. Either. I know I'm still not funny at all. I'm not really that humorous when it comes to Let's Plays. <sighs> okay. So it should be like, yes, yeah, the fourth spiraling. Careful, Wario. All the cliffs and deep chasms around here are really, really dangerous. If you fall, you'll land in Unithorn's lair. Scary. You'll lose coins as long as you're in Unithorn's lair. So if you fall in, you better hurry up and find the escape spring before you go broke. Yeah, I consider Unithorn's lair to be the only... No, actually, it's not the only annoying part of this game, but... Um, yeah, here it is. Now, these are gonna get- these, um, Unithorn- Unithorn's lair is gonna get more and more complex the farther you get through the game. And there'll be more crates they have to destroy in order to find the escape spring. So, it gets really, really annoying later on. But it's not really that bad in its current state. Okay, this is the last Sprightling in the level. Hey, there's the goal, Wario. If you found enough red diamonds, the stone doohickey blocking the way will vanish. If not, the Bye Bye Balloons can take you back to the starting point. Up ahead, the diamonds you need will appear more frequently. If you want to know how how many you have, just press the start slash pause and check the, your inventory screen, okay? Okay. So that covers all the Spritelings of Greenhorn Forest. And a button right here. Yeah, don't go to the boss. Yeah, unless you're not going for 100%. If you're not going for 100%, then just screw it. Go fight the boss now. But if you are, then you still got a few more things to do in this level. Hey, it reminds me of Tetris. Nice. It's a Tetris block in here. Cool. It's a hidden reference to Tetris, people. Okay. Over here, we have more of these enemies. More of these dinosaur themed enemies, triceratops. And... Whoa, I didn't know I could walk up onto that rock there. Cool. Okay, we got another button right here. The button. 
button. Come on, get up there. <clears throat> so, how's everybody doing? Today is December 28, 2011 as I'm recording this, but you guys will not see this until the 2nd of January. And that's the... When you see the, the heart stamp appear on the screen, that means you got all the, all the body parts. And once you complete the level, you will receive half a heart. And we're sh we should be getting the last of treasures now. Yep, we are. So let's see. Okay, we are now 100% in Greenhorn Force, so we're now ready to fight the boss. See how fast that went? That was all in one video. Okay. So once you're ready, just stand by Stone Dude Picky, and they'll automatically place in the red diamonds for you. Okay, here we are. Um, now, I would like to do the bosses in separate videos, so that means we're going to end off the episode here. So, um, thank you for watching episode 1 of Let's Play Wario World. I am Multiclass Gamer, and I will see you guys in episode 2, where we will fight the boss of Greenhorn Forest. So yeah, see you guys then. Multiclass Gamer signing out. Hope you guys enjoy... Look forward to the rest of this Let's Play because you know how much I am. Well, actually, probably don't, but still. Alright, see you guys then. Multicast Gamer signing out for reals this time. Bye.